Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Ben, and welcome to part 15 to the Heart Platformer series. This series was made possible by the students who purchase my, uh, my Godot courses and my Pixel Art courses. If you're interested in those, there will be a link in the description in the pinned comment. In this video, uh, this is, I, I guess, kind of a bonus video, but not really. Um, I decided that we needed to have some sort of victory screen in the game to kind of complete it. We've got a start menu. We've got uh, we've got our our uh, end of level screen that we get. Which did we call that a victory screen? I think we called it level complete. But now I want to have some sort of victory screen for if you complete the game. If there's no more levels after, so we're going to create a new scene and uh, we'll do a center container and we'll make this uh, full rect here we'll do an hbox container and no a vbox container inside of it and we'll do a couple buttons inside of there and the first one will be uh, well, actually, we're going to do a label. Label. Okay. And we want that to be at the top. And it will just say... Uh, game, uh, what, what should we call it? Game complete. You win. <laughs> I don't know. You can put whatever you want here. I'm just going to put you win. Um, and we actually don't need two buttons. We'll just need one here that will take us back to the main menu. Menu button. We'll say return to main menu. Like that. Let's make our label center and our menu button. I'm going to I'm going to set the layout here so that the min height is 16. No. We must have done more than that. Oh, that's the min width. Yeah, the min height is 16, so why? And then the min width. Uh, okay, 80 is not quite enough. Let's do 104. That technically works. Um, it did make our text blurry for some reason. So we're gonna save this up. Uh, we gotta name it though. We'll name this victory screen. Screen. Save this. And we'll attach a script to it. And we'll connect the menu button pressed in the script to go get three dot change scene to file. And we're gonna go Start menu. Now, uh, we have our victory screen and it should take us back to the start menu, but we want to, we want to be able to make our level complete uh, actually update accordingly. Because right now it says next level, but if there's not a next level, then that doesn't make much sense. So what we'll do is we'll come into level complete and we'll create an, uh, a ready function here. We'll tap into this and we'll say if, uh, oh, let's see, we, no, 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 we don't want to do that in here. I just realized. So what we want to do is actually come into the level itself. So inside of a level, we have uh, access to a next level, right? But if that next level doesn't exist, then we know we want the level complete to show something different. So our level complete has access to a next level button and a retry button, right? We've got access to those in the code. Next uh well, we didn't get access to the next level button, but we're going to now. Drag it over, hold control, drop it. So now we have access to next level button. Okay, 
So inside of our level code in the ready function, what we can do is we can say if not next level is packed scene. That just checks to see if there is a next level or not. And if there's not a next level, if it's not a pack scene, right? That means it's null. Uh, you could do a null check, but I usually like to do is if I can. Um, then we can change next level. So uh, level complete dot next level. Uh, what is it called? Button dot text equals victory screen. This. Okay. So let's see if this works. We should be able to complete the first level. And then on the second level, what we'll get is um, instead of instead of next level, because there won't be a next level, we'll get a victory screen button. And there we go, we have a victory screen button. But it doesn't do anything right now. So uh, what we can, let's see, there's, there's some different things we could do. We could set our own next level equal to the victory screen. So uh, that seems like a pretty easy way to solve this. If there isn't a next level, then next level equals load victory screen dot TSCN. So let's see if that works. Seems like a pretty straightforward approach to this problem. Okay. Oop, I didn't want to retry, but that's okay. We'll just work on my high score, right? A little bit slower, I think, 3.8. I've gotten in 3.7 multiple times for sure. I mean, these levels aren't very well designed for the kind of game that we're making, but that's okay. There we go. It says victory screen, and we can go to... Um, our victory screen. So what's happening there is our... You can see that our, our fade is from black right here. Uh, is happening inside of the next level ready function. So we need our victory screen to fade from black as well. Otherwise, it's just going to be a black victory screen. So let's fix that. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I think in this case it makes sense. Go to next level. Jump, jump, there we go. Okay, victory screen and we have return to main menu. You win, return to main menu. Um, but return to main menu isn't focused. So we have to get focus on the victory screen as well. And that should be the last thing we have to do. So we'll do access is unique name on the main menu button. Drag over, hold control, drop it. Come into here and we'll say menu button dot grab focus so that way we can actually make sure to and and I'm going to play this game more than I'm going to code this time uh, that happens that happens sometimes three two one start it, it feels like a little bit long for that countdown timer so Okay, victory screen and return to main menu and quit. There we go. Okay, so we've completed the game loop. Uh, there is a victory screen now. And obviously none of these graphics, um, like the victory screen doesn't have any cool victory screen graphics or anything. It's kind of like a victory screen, but um, it's, the, it's the basics for how you could set something like this up to have a victory screen. Now the last thing, 
that I want to do. I, this is going to be the last video in this series. Um, uh, the last official video. I could, there's a chance I'll do bonus videos, but this is, this like closes a series, ends it. Right? I'm pretty happy with how this series has gone. I do want to explore other things. So, uh, but the last thing that I think seems like a good idea here is to, one last polish thing is to reduce the animation down. So if we come down into our level, let's see, we used world, didn't we? For our levels to inherit from. Here's our animation player, we have countdown. Um, yeah, inside of world here, um, we're waiting for the fade from black. But I actually want to try not doing that. I want to try starting the countdown timer and not waiting on fade from black because it does feel like it takes quite a long time. So three, two. Yeah, that feels better to me. Like waiting for it to fade from black before counting down um, just takes a long time. And I think this is more appropriate. So all right. that's our final little polish bit. Thank you so much for completing. If you finish this series, first of all, congratulations. Most people who start series like this, they do not finish them. If you watch the, if you watch the views on each video, the, fer the very first video is going to have like, I don't know, a year from now, it's going to have like 100,000 views or something. Um, and then this video is going to have like way less, like 10,000 or something. So, you know, one in 10 people fi will finish this series, maybe less than that. Um, so congratulations for finishing this series. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot along the way. And I hope you're looking forward to the new tutorial series that I'm planning. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of this channel and supporting me. And I will talk to you all later.